All right, it is a cold January day. We're about to get some snow here this week coming up, and it's been raining horrible. Here in Jersey, it rains and the wind blows. It wouldn't be so bad if the wind wasn't blowing, but if you go on windy.com and look at my part of town, you'll see that the wind blows constantly at the 18, 19 mile an hour mark. So anyway, I figured I'd, what I'd do is I'd tell you about my jigs. Um, I like fishing jigs. I bought a big pack of jigs from Bass Pro Shops here a few years back. And I got them in. It was probably, it was a major, like a kit. So I got, oh, I don't know, 20, you know, maybe 20 jigs in. And uh, the kit cost me 25, 30 bucks. I don't know what it was. But my problem was, is they were all way too heavy. I don't throw nothing quite that heavy. I don't particularly like the football jigs. Um, even with the weed guards, I just pulled up muck off the bottom. I mean, it really was just pure muck that I'd bring in. Um... So I needed something that I could use that would be a lot lighter and wouldn't cost as much. I mean, if you go and price out jigs, you're talking a, a jig like this will run you, up, even on the cheap ones, a couple dollars on up to, you know, you can spend eight, nine dollars on these things, I think, or probably even more depending on who you buy. So I needed a way to um, get some jigs in without spending the money and, and Realistically, it, it you know I, I don't fish these in heavy cover. I fish these pretty much in open water, and they don't get hung up too often. And if they do, the, the, these were cheap enough that it, it didn't kill me. So, and basically, what I did was is I went and instead of you know going on Amazon, normally you know you go on Amazon and you research them, and you can get five or six of them for you know nine ten dollars on there, and, and they're they're you know they're your average. Swim bait. They're heavy. They're probably heavier than this. This is a quarter ounce. Um, that's the kind of the weight I like. I like quarter eighth ounce is good. Three eighths isn't too bad. But being here in in, in my area and in, in South Jersey here is we don't have a lot of uh, freshwater bait shops. So everything I get is heavy. You know, all the spros I get are, are pretty much bigger than this. They're 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 a lot heavier than this. Um, they're usually three eighths and bigger. I can't get quarter ounce, but it, they're, it's just different. They're bucktails. They're not, not swim baits like these. So anyway, um, being that my local guys don't sell it, you either got to make them. And if you make them, they're expensive too. I mean, you're talking, you got to get a mold, which usually the molds are a gradient in size, which means that they go from maybe a quarter ounce up to, you know, an ounce jig heads. And unless I'm making all them jigs, it really is just cost of, uh, ineffective to uh, pour an eighth you know, dump it, pour an eighth, dump it, pour an eighth, dump it. And then you got the cost of the heads. I mean, the hooks. I said heads. I meant hooks. You got the cost of the hooks, uh, the lead, the pot, the melting pots. The mold itself is, you know, $60, $70. So you're talking about it's not a really uh, inexpensive way of doing it. I mean, if you're losing a lot of them, like saltwater guys, I would say, yeah, pour your own, you know, whatever. But what I wanted was I wanted a jig that I didn't have to deal with. You know, this jig comes completely painted. It's got the hook on it. It's got the skirt on it. Um, I put the O-ring on it. Uh, that was about the only thing I did to this is I did the O-ring on there. You don't have to do the O-ring, obviously. But it comes ready to rock and roll. And the reason I wanted another thing is because of the hook. If you look here, this hook is a lot heavier than... I used to use crappie jigs when I wanted um, lighter weights. I'd buy the round ball heads and I'd kind of rig them up myself. But the problem is with the round ball heads is the hooks are usually the gold Aberdeen. They're really a lightweight hook. Unless you get a saltwater style, like a tsunami boxing head jig, those are really, I love those heads. They're, they're stout. I mean, you're, you're not going to straighten one out. So you can actually put some muscle behind them. This is another one, too, that you can do the same. If you look at that hook, the hook is pretty good. It's, it's solid. I mean, it's not going anywhere. And anyway, getting to the bottom line of what I did is, is how I got these is I went to Walmart. And I needed a way of getting some jig heads. And I, you know, it keeps me from throwing them because usually these things are too damn expensive. And if you lose them, I bang them up. You know, the paint comes off and that's the first thing you notice. For the paint in the eyes, the skirts on them, you know, everything falls apart on them. You're like, they really are a waste of money unless I'm catching a lot of fish. I don't catch a ton of fish on these style ones. But anyway, let me get back to what I was saying is that I went to Walmart. And this is about three or two or three years ago. And in the bait boxes down below, and they're, they're cheap baits, they have, you know, the strike, something strike worms, 
Uh, and then they have boxes of spinner baits and buzz baits. And what I did is I picked up the spinner baits and I went, you know, if I just clip the wire and make a loop at the end, I've got myself a jig head in the weight that I want and every color I want. And they're a dollar a piece. So that's what I did. This is nothing more than a than a dollar Walmart spinner bait that I clipped, bent pin a uh, circle on. I do them different ways. This one here, I kind of kind of looped it sideways on it. It looks a little different here. Yeah, I kind of bent it over. It, it still works good. But you can bend them and, and you know do the three loops around so it's a little stronger. If you feel that's not gonna hold. Um a dollar. And not only do you get it completely ready to go, it comes with the eyes, it comes painted, it comes skirted. But when you clip it, you get the other hardware as well. So if you want to do like, uh, if you want to use the blades off of those for something else, like, you know, swim baits, underspins, you get swivels off of the the the, uh, the old spinner bait, you get uh, O-rings off the old spinner bait, and you even get a chunk of wire that you can use for making like uh, Tokyo rigs. And you really can cannibalize a dollar spinner bait and make you a great set of uh, tools. One of them being this jig. And this jig works awesome. It really does. It's caught me some bass on it. Uh, if I lose them, I don't care. If I bang them up, I don't care. They're a buck. And so I can go in with 10 bucks. I come out with 10 jigs and all extra bunch of hardware. So if you're interested, there you go. Um, a cheap and easy way to get swim jigs on a budget. Go to Walmart. They come in different colors. They got black. They got white. They got chartreuse and white. They got blue chartreuse and white. They got this red, which is almost a pink and black, which works both for freshwater and salt water. Um, it, it's just an easy way to get uh, swim baits. And like I said, unless you got a, a, a better place to get them for cheaper that I can get them for less than a dollar shipped to me, hey, you know, this is the way to do it. I can walk into Walmart, I can grab a handful of them, spend five, six bucks, and I got me five or six jigs. And it keeps the box uh, stocked up. And like I said, if you lose them, you don't care. Um, you can cannibalize them out for other things. So anyway, tell me what you think. You know, give it a like if you like the idea. If you don't like the idea, let me know what you would do better. Um, you know, I'm open to suggestions. This is just one of the things I do. See you at the next one.